this video, we're going to run through some of our top tips to get the most out of SolarWorks Composer. Camera views are an important feature within Composer, as it allows you to keep a consistent look across any views you create. Unlike standard views, which capture all changed scene and actor properties, camera views only capture the camera's properties, which means that when you activate them, only the camera will change. Click the Create Camera View button in the top left of the Views tab, then drag and drop the camera view into or onto any view where that orientation is required. You can also double click the camera view to activate it on the current viewport. This is a great way to ensure consistency between views and means that you don't have to worry about zooming in and out when manipulating actors, as the camera can be easily reapplied. Sometimes the position or orientation of the translation gizmo may not be where you need it to achieve the movement you require. Using the curve detection tool, you can orientate the gizmo to the edges or geometry selected. You can then drag using the gizmo arrows as you normally would. Enable detect curves from the translation tab or by holding Alt when translating or rotating an actor. It's common to need to restore an actor's neutral properties. This could be to return it to its original colour, scale or render style. But if you simply click Restore Neutral Properties, the actor also moves back to its original position too. If you only want to restore specific properties, select the actor, then Control select the required properties you'd like to restore, and then hit Restore Neutral Properties. Alternatively, if you only want to restore the neutral properties of an actor's position, instead of using the Restore Neutral Properties button, Use the Restore Neutral Position button instead, or use the shortcut Ctrl-R. It's good practice to set as many of the required properties you need early on within a project, but there will always be situations where changes need to be made. Update views with selected actors allow you to select an actor or actors from a view and then copy the properties of that actor into any other view. Select the actor, Control select the views, then either use the icon within the views tab or right click and choose update views with selected actors and now the actor will have the same properties across all the views selected. If a subassembly is selected from the assembly tree, each actor within that subassembly is being selected and therefore if a change is made such as translation and then a new view created, each actor gets a new property set for its position. However, if you want to maintain the relative positions of actors within a subassembly, or achieve composite movement, use the Assembly Selection mode. Enable Assembly Selection mode from the Assembly tab, and manipulate Assembly Selections as one actor, rather than multiple individual actors. Make sure to toggle the mode back off when you want to revert back to the standard actor selection. You can also click any actor and press the left arrow key to select the subassembly level above for the same result. Sometimes you may find yourself selecting the same actors again and again throughout a project. Often this could be commonly used items such as fixtures or fasteners. Rather than manually selecting each actor within this grouping each time, you can instead create a selection set. Any selection set created gets saved towards the bottom of the assembly tab and when it's required, just click the selection set name to select the included actors. There is also a handy shortcut for creating selection sets Simply select the required actors and click Ctrl Alt S. Often you'll set the style for an actor, such as font size and colour for a markup, and want to quickly copy that style to another actor. Quick Styles is an easy way to do this. Select the actor that you want to create a style from and choose Quick Style. Once named, if you then select a different actor, selecting the Quick Style from the Styles tab will apply those properties to those other actors. Detail views are a great way to highlight specific actors within a larger view. If you pre-select actors and then tick Detail View from the Tech Illustration Workshop, not only will the detail circle auto-size to these actors, but also, when created, the Detail View will only contain the actors pre-selected. This will make your Detail View creation a lot quicker. Changing an actor's edge colour can be a great way to highlight it within a view. This can be easily done by changing the outline colour in the properties. However, by default, when exporting views using the Technical Illustration Workshop, all outlines get the same colour applied. 
To override this and instead use the outline colour specified on the actor, untick the same colour for all actors box for the show visible lines option. Great, that brings us to the end of this quick tip video for SolarWorks Composer. And if you're looking to take your instruction manuals to the next level with fully interactive 3D online presentations, make sure to check out Cadasio. Sign up for a free account today.